Here's our little stars. But who are our big stars? My daddy's a famous actor. He's really good at ice skating. And he loves Arsenal. My mum's a list woman. She's very clever and she loves talking. My daddy is a radio DJ. He loves motorbikes. And his nickname's Poxy. Let's find out on tonight's Big Stars, Little Star. Please welcome your host, Stephen Mulhern. And welcome to Big Star's Little Star. Tonight, we're joined by three much-loved celebrities who brought along their much-loved kids, although they might not be so loved by the end of the show. <laughs> we'll be finding out what the kids know about their famous parents and how much pocket money they're going to lose by spilling the beans to us. <laughs> they're all playing for charity tonight and hoping to get their hands on a possible £15,000. <laughs> Big amount of money. So let's meet our first big and little star. He recently caused a storm in EastEnders. Leave it out! It's <laughs> Gary Lucy and his daughter, India. Hello. How are you? Good. Good to see you, India. How old are you? Eight. Oh, and uh, how you feel about tonight? How have you prepared yourself? By brushing my teeth twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking that. Now, Gary, um, have you tried to get anything out of her? No, I just made sure she brushed her teeth twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on a moment. Has he tried to get anything out of you? Yeah, and he said to me, if you don't tell me, I'll throw your lollipop in the bin. And I, and I said to him, go on and throw it in the bin. Gary! <laughs> now, we don't want any EastEnders barnies tonight. Get out of my pub! <laughs> what do you think about that? That's fantastic. It's not bad, eh? Hold the applause. <laughs> Let's hear it, please, for Gary and India! <laughs> right, our next guest can talk for Britain, and she does every lunchtime on Loose Women. It's Kate Adams and her daughter, Bonnie. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Hello. Hello. How old are you? Seven. And uh, listen, what bit of the show are you looking forward to the most tonight? I'm um, talking. Oh, good. <laughs> which uh, which loose woman would you say Bonnie is most like, Kay? Oh, let me think. I think she's a combination of three, actually. Go on. Um, she's a party girl like Nadia. She speaks her mind like Janet Street Porter. And nothing phases her like Colleen Nolan. So Not she's a right. combo. So, and yeah. are you genuinely feeling nervous tonight? Oh, absolutely. You get real butterflies. What's the worst that could happen? That Bonnie tells the truth. <laughs> 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 Let's hear the Kay and Bonnie! <laughs> Our final guest is a real fox. It's DJ Neil Fox and his daughter, Martha. <laughs> See you. Nice to see you too. Good to see you. Martha, come over this side. Hello, hello, hello. You look very pretty tonight. Yes. How old are you? Seven. And it's nice to see you. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, who have you got watching at home tonight? I think I've got my mummy, my sister and my brother. Oh, nice. So do you think, Martha, this could be the start of a great showbiz career for you? Um, sort of. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and what about you, Neil? Uh, well, the start of a great show, Miss Curry. Is there anything that you would like us not to be talking about tonight? No, but the things I'm sure I ask you not to will be the things you bring up. So I won't Absolutely. mention them here. Yes. Yes. I always try it. Let's hear it, please, for Neil and Martha.
Good luck to you all. Right, it's time for the first game. And big stars, you're on your own for this one. So, little stars, if you'd like to head backstage to your special room, we'll see you a bit later on. Let's hear it, please, for our little stars. <laughs> From back there, they can't see or hear anything. They've got toys, they've got sweets, they've got a telly. I'm tempted to go back there myself. <laughs> For the first game, we've asked our little stars some revealing questions about their parents. All our big stars need to do is work out which answer they gave us. Gary, you're up first. We asked India this question here. What's the first thing that Daddy does in the morning? <laughs> Is it? Gives me a big kiss, that would be very nice. Oh, indeed. Or is it... Turns on Sky Sports? <laughs> is it... Does a big bummy? <laughs> Hang on a moment. <laughs> Hang on a moment. What is a bummy? A bummy... Yeah. ..is something yes. that India refers to as a passing of wind. Right. <laughs> um, but I don't do that. You don't do any bummies? Not first. <laughs> That's the second thing he well, does. Well, I haven't in the done morning. one tonight. Right? <laughs> and the last one is. Ask Mummy for some porridge. So <laughs> it's one of those. When we said about Tunnel Sky Sports, so you were like, oh, is that a regular thing? Well, if I had the remote control in the house, which I don't ever, <laughs> I have no say basically over what the telly is. Um, so I would put on Sky Sports if I had the choice, but. Um, no, I don't have the choice. It's usually Mr Tumble or whoever else. Do you give her a kiss every morning? To be honest, I, I used to, but she, uh, she's got into a little bit of, like, a bed monster phase. You know, they go through, they're, like, all cuddly at first, used to jump in the bed, give you a cuddle in the mornings, and um, now she just... you barely get a grunt out of her, so... Um... <laughs> right, so it's down to bummy or porridge? It's got to be porridge. And is, but porridge isn't a euphemism, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does porridge come before or after bummy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I feel like I'm asleep and this is a terrible nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to wake up for a minute. <laughs> well, this um, is only the first no. round. I oh, know, it's all about it. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely porridge. OK, let's find out. <laughs> India, I need to know this. What is the first thing that your dad does in the morning? Ask Mummy to make him some porridge. Every morning? Yes. Wow. How does he ask it? Make me some porridge, please. <laughs> That's on the odd occasion when she's forgotten to bring it in. <laughs> or if I've woke up and it's not there. Right, OK. <laughs> there you go. Kate, we asked Bonnie this question here. Have a look. What does Mummy do most when she is oh. in the car? I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. OK, before we put up any of the options, is there anything that stands out, apart from obviously driving? Um... Oh, no, I can't say because the police might be watching, so <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at the options. Remember, she has said one of these. Here we go. Is it she goes too fast? <laughs> she gets lost? <laughs> She sings along to the radio badly. <laughs> she shouts, come on, in traffic. <laughs> well, I'm pretty confident, and that's the worst thing to say on this show, that it's not the first two, because Daddy goes too fast and Daddy gets lost, <laughs> I have to say. Um, I sing along to the radio badly, and, yeah, I probably do shout, come on, and she's been very kind to me, in traffic. <laughs> God, I do both. I what do both. drivers annoy you the most? Um, people who come across a junction, if you're trying to come out and then they stop in front of the junction, they're supposed to keep it open so you can get that drives me crazy. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know whether I should... I'm, I'm going to go for the radio. OK, is that what Bonnie said? Let's find out. Hey, Bonnie, what does Mummy do most when she's in the car? She shouts, come on, in traffic. Does she? <laughs> Did she do it a lot? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there you oh, are. Well, See? We got close. We got close. Neil, let's go to you. Uh, we asked Martha this question here. What does Daddy do when no one is looking? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, now the games begin. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is it 
He steals food and eats it. <laughs> Is it? He lets Bonzo lick his face. That's it. That's my dog, not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is it? He practices his radio voice. Um, oh, that would be embarrassing. Okay. Could it be he looks himself up on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> right. So stealing food. I take it it's you know it's from the home and not the supermarket. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, let's this clear is, that up. This this probably will be food that we've already paid for. Yes, you're <laughs> right there, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, it, look, do you know. Bonzo does lick my face. It's our little dog. He's cute. I've done radio for 30 years, so I've either got it now or I haven't, so that's probably not it. Um, it'll have to be an I recently got caught nicking something. You know, it, you take it off the table, you're pouring it down the sink, there's one roast potato there. <laughs> Seems a shame to waste it. Down it goes. What about and Bonzo? What about him? He's licking my face <laughs> at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll embarrassingly go, he steals food and eats it. Right, OK. Is that what Martha said? Hey, Martha, what does Daddy do when nobody's looking? He steals food and then eats it. <laughs> Very good. Very good, yeah. Loving the show already. Yeah. <laughs> right, so let's uh, go to the green room, see how everybody's doing. Hello, all. Are you right? Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. What's that in your hand? It's um, a copy of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll come back to you a bit later, ladies. Okay, bye. Bye. Right, for the final time, Gary, we asked India this question here. What career advice would you give Daddy? <laughs> give up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've got some career advice for you. Don't come on a show like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little look at some of the options here. Work harder. She could have said, go to the gym more. <laughs> Maybe it's, don't forget your lines. Or did she say, get a part in Coronation Street? <laughs> So, let's go through them. So, work harder. You always seem to be working. Well, I, yeah, I, I do work hard, but maybe not in our eyes. Um, <laughs> go to the gym more, yes, I could do with going to the gym more. Don't forget your lines, yes, I do have a tendency to do that. <laughs> and uh, get a part in Coronation Street. I know she's a big Corrie fan, so, um, to be honest, I haven't got a Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> so, it literally, it literally could be one of all four. All of the above. All of the above. So, which one is, is jumping out? Uh, a bit more than the rest. None of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, work harder, you say you work hard. I go reckon to... work harder. You're going to go for work harder, you Even think... though I do work very hard. OK, let's find out. India, if you had to give your dad a bit of career advice, like for a new job, mm. what would it be? Mm. Ah, to go to part in Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> Because he hasn't been in enough soaps. <laughs> There's no pleasing some people, eh? You've landed a part in one of the biggest soaps in Britain, and all she's thinking about is Coronation Street. <laughs> right, Kate, okay, we asked Bonnie this question here. Have a look. What is Mummy's most embarrassing habit? <laughs> here we go. Oh. She does a funny voice when talking to B. Who's B? That's a dog. Yeah, all right. a dog. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it? She picks her nose and throws it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> right, next one, let's have a look. She cries when she watches Annie. I do, I do. And the next one, please. She looks really silly when she dances. <laughs> listen, I'm bang to rights on all of them. <laughs> the funny voice is to be, you do that, you've openly said Yeah, that. I don't yeah. think that's embarrassing, I think that's all right. What kind of funny voice would that be? BB, come on, BB. <laughs> You're very forthcoming on that. What do you do with Bonzo? Come on. Uh, lick the face, lick the face. <laughs> <laughs> lick the face. Lick the face. Lick the face. Good stuff. Now, which one do you think is the one that they should have told us, Bonnie? 
think it's going to be the nose. I'm hoping against hope that it's not. I'd rather lose the game than get this right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go for it anyway. Right, she picks her nose and throws it in the bin. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's have a little look. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. I need to know something. What is Mummy's most embarrassing habit? Well, Stephen, she picks her nose and throws it in the bin. It's in that nose. That's my girl. That's my girl. What bin do you put it in? The green one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Neil, here we go. Here we go. We asked Martha this question here. Who does Daddy have a secret crush on? Bonzo. Option one, Carly Minogue. <laughs> Few of the audience quite like that. <laughs> Option two, we've got Denise Van Outen. We could have himself. <laughs> <laughs> or, or is it Verity? Who's Verity? Verity uh, does the news on my show on Magic, so I work there every day. I don't have a crush on Verity. She's my work <laughs> on me. Right. OK, well, we've got a picture of Verity as well. Go on, let's all look. Just so we can have a little look at Verity. Very, very Verity, nice. she's lovely. Very nice. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't have a crush on myself, so I'm not always staring in the mirror. Um, Denise Van Alten, I, I like Denise very much, and she's one of our colleagues on Magic as well, so I, I see her a lot. She's good. Carly, I've known since, <laughs> since those first I should be so lucky days. You should be so lucky? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set them up and you just <laughs> knock them down. That's <laughs> lovely. I like that. OK. Uh, so which one is it? I bet, uh, knowing Martha, she'll probably say Verity, because, obviously, I talk about Verity and she's on with me every day. That's all... That's my honest <laughs> guess. But there's no truth in that. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife, Vicky. There is no truth <laughs> We're work colleagues. We see each other early in the morning. <laughs> You know, we help each other through the hard times. OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've actually answered your own questions. <laughs> <laughs> so you're... <laughs> no, 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 no. I think... <laughs> it's, I think oh, people always assume that, say, uh, a double act Stop on the... Thinking. No, a double act. <laughs> Because you work together, you might end up having some kind of relationship. Stop it. Okay, I'm Stop out. It it's over. Help me. <laughs> Is it Verity? Come on, Martha. You're very smiley today. Martha. <laughs> I just. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I've got another question for you. Who does Daddy have a secret crush on? Um, Verity. His family on magic. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Right, so Martha does think that you have a crush on Verity. There we are. At the end of that round, the scores are all very close. Let's hear it, please, for our big stars. <laughs> After the break, our celebrities will be hearing more from their kids and probably wishing they hadn't. But first, can you guess which big star this little star grew up to become? Find out the answer in just a minute. <laughs> Hello, how are you? And welcome back to Big Star's Little Star. Now, before the break, we asked which big star this little star grew up to become. Did you get it right? It is, of course... Justin Timberlake! Justin Timberlake, there he is. Now, tonight we have three celebs all hoping to win a load of cash for their charity and to help them waiting patiently backstage are their kids, India, Bonnie and Martha. OK, it's now time to play the next game. We've asked our little stars to describe some very simple everyday words. All our big stars have to do is work out what they're talking about. Guess correctly after the first clue, they'll get themselves two points. Get it right after the second clue, you get just one point. <laughs> first up is our very own loose woman, Kay. But what is Bonnie talking about here? And it's very thick 
and sometimes you can feel stickers or something on it. Sometimes it can be just white or it can be like red and white or pink or something like that or gold. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two and you could get any type of number uh, but I like only getting one because it gives my mum more time to play with me. So, they're red or white, and if mum has more than one, she's unable to play with me. <laughs> <laughs> Have a guess. Um, what do you think it could be? Well, she says more time to play with me. I would say a phone or a tablet, I guess, but... Um... I wouldn't have one or two, but I'll go with that. A phone or a tablet. A phone or a tablet. If it's right, you get yourself two points. You may change your mind. Let's hear a little bit more from Bonnie, please. When it gets wet, they just... Um, they're straight and then they just sort of go over like a bridge. And it's quite weird. When you look at it, it's just um, like this big book. And it's just full of writing. I have seen my mum in one, and it's like her riding a bike or something. My mum normally gets two, and I think it would cost ten pounds, and it's quite a lot of money for her. <laughs> so lovely, isn't it? So lovely. <laughs> Any ideas? Now, uh, if it gets wet, it goes like a bridge or something, and I'd be riding a bike. It's I... like a big book full of writing, and it costs ten pounds, which is quite a lot of money it's for quite you. Quite a lot of money for me, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Gary, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep it quiet so they leave me alone. Um, <laughs> well, a magazine, I can't think. You're saying a magazine? Oh, it's so close, Kay, but we can't give it to you. No, it was a newspaper, <laughs> so no points there, Kay. Next up, it is Neil. What is Martha talking about here? You could do it in your bedroom, or you could do it um, by the stairs, or, or by the mirror, <laughs> so you could see yourself. You couldn't do it on a bit, on like a higher bit of like on top of your drawers or something. If Dad did it, he would do it um, after tea. <laughs> or before tea. When Mummy tells Daddy to do it, she normally is quite bossy. <laughs> when Daddy do is doing it, he looks a bit serious and his face goes red. <laughs> right, right! 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 So, so what time does this show actually go out? <laughs> <laughs> So, you could do it in your bedroom, yes. or you could do it by the stairs, oh. or by the mirror, so you could see yourself. I'm yeah. saying nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, it's over to you. I what look are you pretty serious, apparently, when I do it, and I get a red face. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, have you got any tips on this one for me? <laughs> um, just drop me out, all right? OK. <laughs> Maybe, is it anything to do with yoga? Uh, my wife's a yoga instructor. When she said, if your wife tells you to do it, and I... It does make me get, have a red face, I'll be honest. OK, so well, you I go and do yoga. it in front of the mirror. You don't do it in front of the mirror. Or on top of the cupboard or wherever she said I did. <laughs> so you're going with yoga? It's my best guess at the moment. OK, let's hear more from Martha, cos you may change your mind. Have a look. <laughs> I think it'd be good to do um, it in very hot countries and... and outside. You could wear one of those tennis hats when you are doing it because it might feel nice on your head because some... but it might fall off. Daddy wears orange chunks when he does it and, and they feel a little rubbery in, like, a swimming chunks. <laughs> Daddy smells quite sweaty afterwards. <laughs> Sticking with yoga, Neil. Yeah, let's let's stick with yoga. You're sticking with yoga. I would have said running, but I'm not going to be running around the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bob's <laughs> <in> my... <laughs> Lick me, lick no. Um... Uh... 
I'll, I'll, I'll stick with my yoga. And you're absolutely right for two points. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Finally, Gary, what is India talking about here? <laughs> To have one, I think you would have to be around um, 18, 19. I think one smells horrid and then you, when you spray your perfume on in the night, on them in the night, they will smell lovely. I don't have one because um, Daddy says they're smelly and it just ends in tears and that I'm too young for one. So, you say to India that they're smelly. Yeah. And they always end in tears. Yeah. And she doesn't have one. It could be, uh, like a gerbil or a hamster. Could be a pet of some sort. You gonna go for a pet? Yes. OK. Let's hear a little bit more, please, India. People go with one on holidays or sometimes they go to nice restaurants or on boats and even sometimes they just stay at home. I think a good place to meet one would be in a nightclub because lots of people go there and lots of people meet people <laughs> because like, people like see other people. If I had one, I would definitely want to be the tallest because then I'd be in charge. <laughs> I think it's been one for nine years and I think he's done really well. You sticking with Hamster? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for um, boys because they smell <laughs> and because it will end in tears for one or the other. So yeah, I'm going for I'm going for boys, boyfriends, boys. yeah. Boys, boyfriends, you're and absolutely out. right. <laughs> Alfie, if you're watching, I've got my eye on you. Alfie? Yes. So is Alfie like her boyfriend? Is that right? No, but I just tease her about it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Good stuff. Let's go to our green room now and let's see what's going on. What is that? What is that on your head? <laughs> India? <laughs> Hello, India. India, who's Alfie? My friend. <laughs> he hasn't been telling you he's my boyfriend, has he? Daddy! <laughs> 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 he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. I promise he didn't really, he didn't really. Right, see you later. See you later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Right. At the end of that game, it's still too close to call. Let's hear it, please, for our big stars. <laughs> right, it's time to take a break, but before we do, can you guess which big star this little star grew up to become? Have a good look. I'll tell you the answer after the break. for Big Star's Little Star. Now, before the break, we asked you which big star this little star grew up to become. The answer is Amanda Holden from Britain. <laughs> OK, before the next game, let's bring out the real stars of the show. It's our little stars, India, Bonnie and Martha. <laughs> to see you back. Right, time for our big stars and little stars to work together. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask them both some questions about the big star. They just need to give me the same answers. The more they match, the more they score. Simple as that. Neil, you and Martha, you're up first. Come and take a come seat on. over here. Here they come. <laughs> there you go, Martha. You're not messing about, are you? Straight in there. Brilliant. OK, are you sitting comfortably? Yeah? Good stuff. Here's your first question. Who is Daddy often mistaken for? Remember, you've got to try and match up your answers. Is it John Tarode, <laughs> Chris Moyles, <laughs> or the Foxy Bingo Fox? <laughs> Pick now. <laughs> <laughs> Martha.
Arthur's gone for the Foxy Bingo Fox. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Amazing. OK, here's your next question. Fingers on your buzzers. Who was a guest at Mummy and Daddy's wedding? Was it Keith Harris, Mr T or Timmy Mallet? Choose now. <laughs> Oh, no, it was Timmy Mallet. <laughs> so, what, uh, Mr. T. Keith Harris and all oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love Keith Harris and all that, and Timmy Mallet. And how comes he was a guest at your wedding? I, he was, you know, he's a former DJ, and I've, I'd known him about 25 years. Right. And just with stayed mates. Very nice. OK, here's your next one. Which special skill does Daddy have? Can he fly a helicopter? Can he speak Russian? Or is he a doctor? <laughs> Pick now. <laughs> yes! That's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know that. When and how? Uh, I'd always wanted to, and uh, I got my licence back in 1991. I've been flying ever since. And do you fly often? <laughs> I used to fly a lot more before I had three children. Okay. Yes. Yeah. OK, here's your next one. What is Daddy's dream job? Is it... A bus driver, <laughs> an astronaut, or a farmer? Pick now. <laughs> oh, no. Daddy wants to be an astronaut. <laughs> what did she say? And Martha went for a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your next one. Which of these celebrities has Daddy not taken a selfie with? So you like a selfie, Neil? We, we, yeah, we do. When they come in on the show, we, you know, we do fun, funny pictures together. Cool. It's always good. Let's see your options. We've got Tom Hanks, Daniel Radcliffe, or David Cameron. Pick now. <coughs> oh, it was. Martha went for Tom Hanks, but it was actually David Cameron. So, look, let's have a little look at these. Tom Hanks there. And we've got Daniel Radcliffe. Let's have a look at Daniel Radcliffe. Look. <laughs> And we've also got, oh, look, Subo! <laughs> you look like the Crankies. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Neil and Martha. You scored one. Gary and India, you're up next. <laughs> Sit yourselves down. Very good indeed. How are we feeling now, Gary? We all cool? <laughs> 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 OK, here's your first question. Let's see if we can get a match. What did Daddy's friends call him when he appeared on Dancing on Ice? Was it Spray Tan Man, <laughs> Lycra Boy, or Sequin Lad? That can't be Daddy on B. Why don't you think that's Daddy? Because he's too muscly. <laughs> OK, make your choice now. <laughs> yes, there you go. The first pairing, Lycra Boy. I knew we would have to pick that. Did you? Yeah. Why did you think that? Because I know he'd like to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your next one. What is Daddy most scared of? <laughs> is it spiders, flying or heights? Pick now. <laughs> Another perfect pair. Here's your next one. Who would Daddy most like to be stuck in a lift with? Verity. <laughs> <laughs> would it be Cheryl Cole, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, or Jack Wilshere? Have a guess and pick now. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I, prob I, I just thought that's who she would say because of the Arsenal. I wouldn't choose Jack Wilshire. <laughs> OK, here's your next one. Where is Daddy's favourite place to get lost? Is it in a sweet shop, Hamley's toy store or Essex? Gary knows straight away. Pig now. <laughs> Another pair. So you love a toy shop? Love a toy shop. 
Our house is, is a mess with toys, and I, I'm just a big kid, really. I love, love going buying toys. Wow. Here's your last one. Which of these did Daddy once buy at an auction? Was it Beyonce's towels, Kylie's curtains, or Madonna's rug? I don't know. Choose now. Have a guess. <laughs> you actually bought Madonna's rug. Oh, God, it was just one of them nights. Um... <laughs> Weren't you drunk? <laughs> Yes. Um, what a night, what a night. <laughs> Got up on Madonna's rug. <laughs> Bas oh. Basically, the story goes, I was at this auction um, for a great cause, so, you, you know... Drunk. Anyway. <laughs> um, and basically, the, the auctioneer uh, would come up and he's going, you know, the next lot to come up is uh, Paul Weller's signed guitar. Single lad at the time, thought that looked wicked on my new flat. Anyway, going once, going twice, sold Madonna's rugs to Gary Lucy. It was the next lot after this one. <laughs> this lot was Madonna's rugs. Oh, no! So, to this day, if anyone out there wants two Madonna's rugs, <laughs> pretty much the size of this studio area here... I'll give you a tenner for them. <laughs> <stick> tenner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well done, Gary, in India. You scored four. Last but not least, it's Kay and Bunny. Lovely. OK, good luck to you. Here's your first one. Take a look at this. Fingers on your button. Who would Mummy most like to shoot into space? <laughs> would it be Jeremy Clarkson, Jeremy Paxman or John McCruick? Pick now. Pick the ugliest <coughs> one, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So why John McCruick? <laughs> Do I really need to answer that? <laughs> OK. Right, here's another one. Take a look. What was Mummy's proudest moment? Was it going on Total Wipeout, <laughs> interviewing Margaret Thatcher, or joining Radio Scotland? Pick now. Oh, it's got to be... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Body thought it was joining Radio Scotland, but you got for Total Wipeout. <laughs> Tackling those big red balls was definitely the proudest <laughs> achievement of my life. There you go. I think we've actually got a picture yeah. of you. Look. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the loose women Christmas party, doesn't it? <laughs> Here's another one for you. Which sort of film would Mummy most like to appear in? Is it a political thriller with George Clooney, an action film with Matt Damon, or a romantic comedy with Colin Firth. Choose again. Look, Bonnie's straight on her buzzer. Press now. <coughs> yes! <laughs> well done, Bonnie. Well done, Bonnie. Good choice. Right, here's another one. Take a look. Whose music does Mummy dance around the house to? Is it Michael Bublé, Elaine Page, or The Proclaimers? <laughs> Choose now. Yeah. Well, this is absolutely Bonnie's favourite, so I'm hoping she'll go for her own favourite. It's the Bublé! <laughs> Bonnie's very happy with herself. Very good. You're doing well. Here's your last one. Who is Mummy's favourite loose woman? Oh, don't do this to me, for God's sake. <laughs> is it Nadia Sawala, Colleen Nolan, or is it Denise Welsh? I'll tell you what, body's straight there. She's not messing about. Pick now. Well, I think I know who Bonnie's going to pick. <laughs> Nadia Sawala, there you are. <laughs> well done. Perfect pair there. So, I can tell you at the end of that, you scored three. <laughs> Right, that is the end of the game. I've got to say, you've all been fantastic, but only one pair can make it through to the final to play for the jackpot. And the pair going through is... Gary and India! Yeah. So, can the 
congratulations to Kate and Bonnie and Neil and Martha. But no one goes home empty handed on this show. No, no, no. We're going to give you both £1,000 for your charity. Kay, where's your money going to? I'm going to Children First, which is a Scottish charity for vulnerable children and their families. Amazing. <laughs> and Neil? Um, I think our money will go to Prostate Cancer UK. Incredible. And for each of our little stars, you both go home with your very own big stars, little star trophy. Give them a massive round of applause. There you go. Well done. Well done, well done, well done Martha. Amazing. Right, coming up, Gary and India play for a possible £15,000. But first, can you guess which big star this little star grew up to become? <laughs> the clue is all in the eyes. Find out if you're right after the break. To the final of Big Star's Little Star. Now, before the break, we showed you this picture and asked you which big star it is. Did you get it right? Let's take a look. It's actor Benedict Cumberbatch. Look at his eyes, it's incredible. Right, now Gary and India swept the competition aside and now they have a chance to play for a possible £15,000 for their charity. And here is how it works. Have a look. Behind these squares, you'll see ten pairs of pictures which all relate to your life in some way. Now, it could be uh, your job, could be your hobby, even your pets. Um, you just need to match up as many pairs as you can. Now, you've already got £5,000 for your charity, uh, just for getting to the final, so congratulations on that. But for each matching pair, we'll give you another £1,000, all right? Let's have a look at some of the pictures. Uh, let's take a look at number four. Let's reveal what's behind number four. Sarah Ferguson. So, how does she uh, come into your life? <laughs> I met her in uh, Los Angeles years and years ago, um, and actually, she asked me for my autograph for a, one of a, one of the girls. How about that? Mm. Very random. <laughs> uh, so, behind number four, India is Sarah Ferguson. Okay. Uh, let's take another look at another one. Let's go to our agenda, number fifteen. Elvis. Yeah. Why oh. is Elvis there? Because he's my brother. <laughs> Not that Elvis, no, but your brother is called Elvis, yes. My little baby boy is Elvis, yeah. Baby? Well, he's a baby. He's my baby boy. Very nice. So, remember, what's behind 15, India? Elvis. And what's behind number four? Um, Sarah Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson. Yeah, OK, right, good luck. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to show you all of the pictures behind <coughs> all of the squares, but only for a few seconds. Oh. OK. Can I get my camera phone out? <laughs> get ready. Got my OK, remember as many as you can. Here they come. Let's show them. Right, Memorise as many as you can. OK, your time is up. Number two and number 16. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. That was my two. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, one number at a time. Good luck to you both. Your 90 seconds start now. Number two and number 16. Number two, Madonna. Number 16, <laughs> correct, that's a pair. Number five and number six. OK, one number at a time. No. Next one, mm. not a pair. And um, number six and number 12. Number six, your dog Pickles. Yes, and a pair. Keep going. And number three and number 13. Number three, that's the pram, uh, India's mm. Christmas present. No. Oh, no, number four and uh, number 13. Four and 13. Mm. 14 and 13. 14 and 13. Is it a pair? Mm. Oh. 14 and four. 14 and four. Sarah Ferguson, yes. yes. 13 and 20. Number 13, Miley mm. Cyrus. Five and 20. Five. Is it the skates? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, 13 and 9. 13. You Miley Cyrus, you're a big fan of her. Yes! Yes! And yeah. uh, number 7 and number 10, I think. You love motorbikes? Mm. Sure. Number 7 and 18. <laughs> number 7 and 18. Is it a pair? 10 and 11. I don't know. Oh, so 11. Football club, your favourite football club. Yes! yes. Keep going. One three. One. Elvis is three behind Elvis. No. no. One and fifteen. One and fifteen. <laughs> is it? Yes. yes. Nineteen. Three and nineteen. Mm. No. Okay. Three, three and eight. Three and eight. No, it isn't. Mm. No, it's three not. Three and okay. seventeen. <laughs> and then eight and nineteen. Eight, eight and nineteen. And 19. Yes. Yes.
tell you something. I'm not joking. I need to sit down. <laughs> wow. India. You know, your memory was very, very good. You were very quick. I think I'm deaf in this ear. <laughs> I really do, but I'll tell you what, look, you've done a lot. You're going away for your charity with £15,000. <laughs> and the charity... It's Haven House, the children's hospice that my fiancé, Natasha, works at. Does great work and, um, yeah, it's a great charity. Amazing. Well done. And, India, you're also taking home your very own big stars, Ooh. little star trophy. Ooh. That is for you. Give my massive round of applause. There you go. Big and small, and we'll see you next time on Big Stars, Little Stars. Good night.